What's up, internet marketers? It's Ike Paz, and today I'm gonna show you how to get leads fast with simple, tiny lead magnets. And the cool part is, you're gonna do this without paid tools, without writing anything, anything, and doing much work at all, actually. Okay? Now, if you know how to get leads, the best thing you could do is provide something that will save your lead time, money, and energy. So today's method is about creating lead magnets, using only free tools, and doing it all in, in five simple little steps, okay? You're also gonna need these four free resources, okay? You're gonna need eZine articles for your content. You're gonna need open office to put the PDF together, your lead magnet. You're gonna need Pixabay, to get all the free public domain images, and you're gonna need Canva to create your cover. Okay, it's all easy stuff. Just follow this video to the T. Also, make sure you watch the video to the very end for even faster results. And like always, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check the link out below or visit landtolead.com landtolead.com to get an even faster way to create ebooks and reports so i'm going to give you my tutorial here how to do it in five steps but if you find that too difficult i want you to check out the link below or visit landtolead.com okay so we're going to learn how to create a lead magnet really easily first you want to go to ezine articles and pick out the article you want to use as your lead magnet you can use any article you want just make sure to uh, keep the links to the original post within the article somewhere so you want to copy that and you want to paste that into the template just like that you know you know you want to change the font size to whatever you like I usually put it on 15 I changed uh, you should change the font the type of font um, use whatever you want I like to use Candera I think it looks nice clean up the you want to clean up the actual article you know uh, fix it up any way you want again you use this like you would any other type of document uh, you'd be writing up okay just like that okay you want to add spaces you want to clean up the actual article so it's easy for your user to read. Uh, you want to make sure that the content's nice and spread out. Make it easy on their eyes. Uh, make it simple to digest. It's really important. It takes a couple of seconds to do this. Um, as you can see, I'm flying by, uh, finding the periods and the exclamation points and breaking it up there, just like that. Uh, and don't forget, of course, to add the author's links, the original poster of this content, which you can find on eZine. That's the terms they have, eZine has, that if you want to use this content for whatever, for whatever you'd like, you have to include uh, the original links to the, to the author's digital property and also to the eZine. Um, a, a nice little thing you can do is create a source section and uh, add those links there at the bottom of your lead magnet. Now you want to add your links to the top and bottom. You want to point the link to your uh, products, affiliate products, or another squeeze page if you'd like. You also want to create subheadlines. Um, I don't know why this particular article didn't have any subheadlines. I'm creating it within the template, as you can see. Um, of course, this is aesthetically pleasing, but it also serves the purpose of breaking up the content and making it easier for the user to uh, digest. So don't forget to create and add your subheadlines. Of course, you want to add images to your uh, lead magnet. So you can go to pixabay.com, download the images you want, and then 
on your computer drag and drop them onto the lead magnet template. So just look for it on your computer and when you find it take your mouse and drag it over onto the lead magnet template. Now it's time to create our cover image. I like to use canva.com. It's simple to use and absolutely free. A word of caution, I recommend you use your own public domain, I'm sorry, your own images or copyright images you have the rights to or public domain images. Don't use any of Canva's free images, okay? Don't. Canva is super easy to use. All you gotta do is drag and drop. It's very simple. Um, I'm not a graphic designer, but I can I can create amazing looking cover books, cover images using this amazing software, and it's free. There's all kinds of text you can use and different fonts and um, of course you can upload your own images and just drag and drop them onto the canvas uh, to create your stunning cover for your lead magnet. The reason why I'm crazy about Canva is that it's super user friendly. If you know how to operate your mouse, if you know how to create an email, then you know how to create beautiful, stunning images using Canva. I'm seriously impressed and I'm sure you'll be impressed if you've never used Canva before. It's such a great tool. Okay, the image is coming out well. I think, um, yeah, we're just about done with this cover image. Okay, very important point here. When you download your image, do not download it as a PDF. Select .png. Okay, just like we did the other image uh, earlier, we're gonna find our newly created cover image on our computer, drag and drop it onto the template, and you want to drop it into the first page of the template and you want to stretch out the corners so that it fills up the, the entire first page of the template. Now you want to clean up the, uh, the template and make sure it looks nice and, and uh, spaced out. And then we're going to click the PDF button and create our lead magnet. Now we're all done. You have a lead magnet that you've created all by yourself. I hope you like my tutorial on how to create leads or how to get leads with simple little lead magnets. And again, if you found the method a little bit too difficult, maybe a little bit uh, technically challenging, it's okay, I understand. Uh, I do recommend that you do create ebooks and reports to give away and get those leads. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out landtolead.com or check out the link below and get access to this page. Okay, thank you and talk to you soon, bye-bye.